2018. 2018. Most brave friends and fellow accomplices. <laughs> Slow down, slow down. Hello, super brave friends and fellow accomplices. I am Joel Karleski, the super brave teacher, and this is going to be the year of... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, 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 I won't keep you waiting. It is the year of excitement and laughter. Excitement and laughter. I think we have to wait to the end of the video to see what the whole video is about, or if you just like go forward to try to find what it's really about. So there it is, excitement and laughter. We're gonna get in just into it in a second, but first, like this video, share this video, get the word out, especially in 2018, that the Super Brave Teacher, this guy, is coming for Google and YouTube and the world to shift the narrative in a radically positive and accepting way for all people like me, all LGBTQ plus teachers and students. So we're gonna do it in 2018. This is the year where Google and YouTube and the world get a message, get a bigger message that we're here. So thank you. So excitement and laughter, how did I get there? Why, why am I so focused on excitement and laughter this year? Well, 2017 was the year of dropping the rope. I got my tattoo and that says drop the rope and last year was the year of me. Do I want to be right or do I want to be free? And it was my big year of just saying, you know what? I want to be free. I don't want to always be right. That being said, I think what I was missing the most and what my heart was aching for the most was just some excitement and laughter and it's that age-old phrase like you can't change others but you can change yourself or you can't control others but you can control your behaviors and all this stuff and something I am great at and I pride myself on and I love about myself is that I can make pretty much anything exciting and I'm a pretty funny guy maybe not to you but to me like I am that guy who like cracks himself up and like giggles at himself and like tells a joke and is like the loudest laugh laugher at himself and this year I just want to put some excitement and some laughter into my days I was gonna say it's the year of taking risks but I don't know what that necessarily even means and I was gonna say like share with you my like my health goal and my wealth goal and like my vision and my mission. And, and I was like, you know what? All of these things are external things and I wanna do things that I can control, especially internally. Because guess what? I could have my book come out this year. I could tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way or at least do some big things this year. But is that exciting? And does that give me joy and laughter? Maybe, maybe not. So. I am keeping it simple this year by saying this is the year that I want to just have some excitement and some joy because guess what? I can do that today, right now. I can do that tomorrow. I don't have to wait for, for something to happen, for me to accomplish something, for me to have excitement, and for me to have lots of laughter. So this is the year where we just have some excitement and laughter and I'm super excited for it. So call it my resolution if you want. I love to think of that eight. Like I love 2018, it looks so beautiful. Ugh. And that eight has two different parts to it. So just for me, I'm like visualizing excitement and laughter and I'm filling up 2018 with excitement and laughter. What are you going to fill your year with? What are you excited about this year? What are you not excited about this year? Leave a comment below. Let me know, I wanna hear more from you. So this year too, please, let me know what's up with you. I want to know. I want to know. Thank you. And I'm going to end with... I'm this video with a funny story to bring some laughter to you, hopefully, and just remember to recall and remember these stories. So the story goes like this. I got this beautiful care package from one of my students, and in that care package was like a big, like, 750 milliliters of San Pellegrino mineral water, which I love. Thank you. And all day long, I'm like drinking the water, and I'm going to that soon. I'm like, thank you, this is a great gift. Thank you, yeah. Like, I'm just putting back this mineral water. And teaching kindergarten, you naturally have all day long people like, why, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Tell me more about this. They're so curious about our lives. So a student comes up to me and it's like, Senor Kurlowski, what are you drinking? And I'm like, it's Spanish immersion, so I'm like, ah, oh, es una botella de agua mineral. And he's like, beer? You're drinking beer? And I'm like, no, 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 amigo. Estoy tomando agua, agua, g -g 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 mineral. And he's like, putting it together and I'm like, yes, he's getting it. And he goes, water beer? And I go, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, don't tell your friends that, I, that Senor Kolesky is drinking beer in the middle of the day, or your parents for that matter. 
And I'm like, agua mineral, go, 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 go. Like, how much clearer could I be? And finally, the friend who gave me that gift walks over to him and is like, it's mineral water. He's drinking water. And he's like, oh. And I'm like, yes, thank you, thank you. And it was just one of those stories that, like, bring you so much joy because it's like a little kid and, like, trying to put pieces together of, like, what's going on in their life. And like, are you drinking beer? And I'm like, huh. So there's my end of the end of the video joke and hilarity for all of you. Just know that you're on my heart. You are appreciated, you are loved, just for being you. Whether that's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, whatever, whatever label you have, it doesn't matter because who you are is the most important. So thank you for being that person. And I'm gonna say to you, Joel, thanks for being you. Thanks for challenging yourself to being exciting and to laughing more because laughter and excitement is a good look on you, Joel. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. Love you. You're awesome. Bye, friend.